بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم السلام على سيدنا محمد النور المبين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, بعد قولنا, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سبيدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh you who believe keep your duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fear him and always speak the truth he will direct you to do righteous good deeds and will forgive you your sins and whosoever obeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has indeed achieved a great success. Dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us increase our taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fulfill and achieve all of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands and refrain from all his prohibitions. Let us continue to be guided by the Holy Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Brothers and sisters, I would like to start today bi idnillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala by asking about you. I'm asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that give you better days than these days. I'm asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala that you are doing well and trying to stay confident in these challenging times. Brothers and sisters, I'm asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you and all your families. Allahumma ameen, Allahumma ameen. Today we have a bit uh, an important topic insha'Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. This topic is the true Islamic personality as defined in the Quran and Sunnah. The question is why we choose this topic. Because, brothers and sisters, amongst many benefits be Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala of this topic is to show the Muslim personality as the Islam meant it to be. And also to realize how great, to, to how great a gap exists between what Islam wants for the Muslims and what they want for themselves. Also, brothers and sisters, to know, inshallah ta'ala, how much comprehensive information is to be found in the Quran and the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and la last but not least to know you know uh, to be proud to be proud inshallah of our religion of Islam if you ask me why this topic now brothers and sisters because many Muslims are often you know hyperactive in some matters but negligent in others so before i start i would like to give you a little bit examples that we are practicing in our daily life so sometimes you can see that muslims you know hyperactive in some matters and like you know he is as a muslim he is taking good care of his children and this is something good but the you know, when he negligent and others, or he neglected other things like, you know, he's, you know, mistreating his parents. So he devoted much time to worship and seeking knowledge. And the other side, he is neglecting his children's upraising and up, you know, bringing and what they are reading and watching and friends. We can see that 
some subhanallah of them he obeys and fear Allah, fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obeys and fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but on the other side he does not take care to uphold the ties of kinship also we can see that among them brothers and sisters he insists on attending every prayer and attending in the front row but subhanallah on the other side he pays no heed to the bad you know uh, cloth or smell or something like this from the uh, Muslims uh, etiquette and manners and morals we can see brothers and sisters I will keep giving you some examples just be the light to show you that we are ummah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen us to be ummah wasat in the middle be the light as we can see among the Muslims subhanallah he is religious and pious but he is heedless of the Islamic teachings also we can found as well he is uh, paying attention to his our you know uh, his own uh, private affairs but on the other side he is ignoring you know ignoring uh, the, the friends and the welfare of the muslims community at large that's why brothers and sisters this topic is very important we need be the light wa ta'ala to go through 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 this series of episodes inshallah to show all the young Muslim exactly what's the meaning of the true Islamic personalities, uh, personality as defined in the uh, Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala brothers and sisters to bless each and every one of you. I'm asking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to accept from all our good deeds. Please, when I make dua, I would like you to say Ameen bi idhi Allahi tabarak wa ta'ala because the malaika also will say Ameen Allahumma Ameen Allahumma ahfadna min bayni aydina wa min khalfina wa an aymanina wa an shamailina wa min thawqina wa na'udhu bi'adamatika an nugtala min tahtina Ya Allah protect us from our front behind us from our right and our left and from above us and I seek refuge in your glory, Ya Allah, from being taken unaware from beneath us. Ya Arhamar Rahimeen, salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alameen. Innaka hamidun majid. Jazakumullahu khayran. And thank you for listening. And once again, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to ease our days, inshaAllah. And also to forgive us our to forgive uh, all our sins and fill uh, inshallah fill our life with barakah allahumma ameen allahumma ameen jazakumullahu khayran assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh